What's up everyone? I'm Zach the Pokey Collector and in today's video we're going to be opening two charcuterie boards uh, from the Card Coliseum aka Danny Phantom's uh, website online uh, LGS whatever you want to call it but it is Saturday. Happy Saturday to y'all which means Saturday singles. Uh, we'll start you off with this quick ball. I, I actually ordered it from uh, Danny's shop with this order uh, just because I figured Sword and Shield base set why not throw in a single. Um, and then we also have one more card for our Evolving Skies Master Set. Uh, we do got some more coming. There might be more in here too, I can't remember. But we're getting really close to the Master Set. That Leafeon VMAX alt is holding us back big time. And then finally some more Vintage uh, Gym Challenge. Also coming closer to an end. Got a Hollow Koga. A Hollow Giovanni's Persian. Beautiful card. Apparently a very, very low pop in a 10 to get. Um, probably because all that like light color hollow is hard to grade. Another hollow, the Giovanni's Nero King. <clears throat> Nero King, apologies. And then we also have an uncommon trainer from Gym Challenge. Yeah, it's still getting some bulk. Uh, and then the rest of these cards, I believe, are all cards from my wife's collection. Uh, she decided recently to change over to waifu full arts uh all of them starting i think the first one was black and white like middle of black and white up to now they're still doing them obviously um so she used to collect some other cards but she's changing to now just pikachu cards full art waifus and misty cards um so th these were some that i'm either collecting current sets or close to upcoming sets that i need for mine um that she decided to give me so it was very nice the mew from southern islands a beautiful card there's a bunch of reverse hollows. They got a little, a little Charizard peeking in there with a nice little Pidgeot wing, I want to say. Um, we also have a, <laughs> believe it or not, we're almost master setting Fusion Strike, like 10, 15 cards or something. We still needed the Mew V and the Mew V Max. Never pulled them. Couldn't do it. And the Mew V Ult. <laughs> so Fusion Strike's looking good. Uh, Neo Discovery, we're getting very close to starting Neo, so... I'm starting to already get some Neo cards to throw in that binder, even though Jim Challenge still has a few left. Uh, a Snorlax, because she used to do all Mews, Espeons, and Snorlaxes, but then canceled those. So I got a good chunk to add to my collection. A Snorlax pre-release promo from Vivid Voltage, a cute card. <laughs> a Snorlax Reverse Hollow from Sword and Shield Base, why not? Uh, the VMAX uh, from Sword and Shield Base. The Full Art from Sword and Shield Base. And then, eh, don't know why she had this card. I think she just liked it, but she didn't care anymore. A Rainbow Butterfree VMAX from Darkness Ablaze, which is actually one of the most expensive cards at like $9 or something. So yeah, excited to add all those. And now to get going. I think this is the right order. I didn't look. This is just off of memory. Um, but yeah, Danny had the charcuterie boards of... 13 packs, I want to say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 packs. Uh, I think from Fusion all the way up to Paradox Rift, I think every set. I don't think he skipped any um, for a really good deal. So we got two for a video. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. So we'll start at the beginning and go up to Paradox Rift. I think the order's right. I might have one or two mixed up in the uh, Sword and Shield era, but we'll go for it. All right, let's see what we can get from Fusion Strike. It'd be really funny if we just pulled that Mew V or Mew V Max. I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot make that up. Are you kidding me? I swear, you saw me open the pack. No cuts. I, just, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, we got a Mew V for a... Uh, all right, we won't put the hits up until later because all those packs are in the way. We got a Mew V for um, trade. <laughs> oh man, the second after I've opened probably well over 100 something Fusion Strike packs, the first pack I opened after getting a Mew V from my wife, I pull it. That is unreal, y'all. I cannot believe my luck sometimes. Sigalif, Choodle Reverse, into a... So funny. I just ordered this card too. Not too long ago, I got it just for the binder. It was the last regular rare I was missing. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. All right. On to Chilling Rain. Two packs of all these. Uh, the charcuterie board just comes with one pack of all these. I don't know if it's still up on his website. 
um but definitely check it out the card coliseum if there is some more really good price for all these i can't remember exactly but it was definitely below what they should be going for um chilling rain's a beautiful set we still need a few cards when i say a few i mean a good handful but not an agron we don't want an agron non-hollow but maybe on the second one that's why i figured get two make for a better video because one of each i'm almost guaranteed to get nothing with my luck uh, but we, there's uh, so many cool cards we could pull from today's video. So many cool sets. Uh, Chilling Rain's my second favorite. Oof. Nothing from Chilling today. We'll see who wins, too, out of all these sets from two packs. So far, Fusion in the lead with a Mew V. Uh, but we're going into Evolving Skies. The fact that he still has any of these left after all those fanny packs is kind of incredible to me, I feel like. All right, we're not burning code cards yet. At some point, we're going to burn one. Ooh, do I see something? I see something there. Might just be a regular VMAX. We'll see. We got a Moga, a Chinchou. Hey, a Flareon VMAX. All right, Evolving taking the lead for sure. That's got to be better than UV. I love this. One of the very few Flareon uh, hits from Evolving Skies. There is a full art, I think. Um, but yeah, because of those little collection boxes, uh, Flareon did not get a lot of love in Evolving Skies. So we'll take that. That's a fun card to pull. All right, it did just look, okay. Do we have a second Evolving Skies hit? Just to get any hits at all from Sword and Shield there out of two packs each, I'll take. Elemental Badge Reverse into a Duraludon V. All right, I shouldn't have been so loose with it. <laughs> but we'll take, we'll take two hits out of two packs from Evolving Skies. That is a rarity. Evolving with a strong lead, but now we're going into Brilliant Stars with those Trainer Galleries. Um, still need a handful. I think the biggest card I'm missing from Brilliant Stars is just the Charizard Full Art. I got a lot of the bigger cards. Nice Tomokazu Farfetch. Cub Chu, Wormadam Reverse, and a Hollow Boss's Orders. Not exactly what we're looking for, but that's why we got two packs, y'all. Let's see if we can get... Charizard Full Art would be nice. If they give us the Alt Art, which we traded for, we'll take that too, you know? We won't be mad at that. Or a beautiful Trainer Gallery Sylveon. Ooh, nope. Ooh, double nope. <laughs> that Dredagon looks so interesting. What kind of art? It's like some sort of just like computer art or something. Not the biggest fan. Uh, Astro Radiance, two Hisuian Typhlosion tech artworks. Uh, but I don't think there's any good Hisuian Typhlosion in here. Just V or V Max, probably, or V Star, whatever they call it. Let's see if we can get something cool. A Golduck Reverse. Ooh, okay. A Gold Temple of Sinnoh is definitely something cool. We will take it. I think there's a Murkrow flying away from there. I love when they have these gold uh, trainer cards and they add little Pokemon in them. Well, y'all. Astro Radiance taking the lead. I love that player on VMAX, but uh, a gold card, are you kidding me? Astro is definitely taking the lead. I'm not sure if I need it. Uh, I feel like I do. So if so, that's a big win for the Master Set today. And if not, it's a good trade item. Let's see if we can get a Trainer Gallery maybe this pack. Pontiard, Tomokazu, Reverse Overquill, and a Cleavor. That's okay. It gave us a gold out of two packs, so I mean, hit rate wise, We've gotten a hit from everything but Chilling, I believe. We got Lost Origin Giratina artwork to start us off. Now, <laughs> Danny has so desperately tried to pull a Giratina. I would feel so bad if we pulled it from two packs from his shop. Because if you saw his Instagram, he was opening like five a day forever. Okay, Clefable, not hollow. And then uh, he had a gift package sent to him. He did a big video on it. was like an hour long video where he then opened a ton of Lost Origin. I don't think he even got an alt art in that video, which is criminal. Uh, but yeah, Sword and Shield area, y'all. Nothing is guaranteed. That's a beautiful Tynamo. Pikachu reverse. And nothing, nothing from Lost Origin. That happens, y'all. I thought that would happen with most sets. We'll save the Lugia for a second. Going into Silver Tempest. Obviously looking for that Lugia V Alt. Uh, cards we still need. Need that Reggie Drago V Alt. And then I don't think anything too big. Just some rainbows and stuff. Ooh, okay. Radiant Alakazam. We'll take we'll take that. That's something. That's something. 
It's definitely my favorite Radiant out of all the Radiants. Um, not a big Radiant fan though, overall. Uh, I don't know, they just kind of feel like they could have did better with those. I, I really love the Amazing Rares. I don't know why they did, I feel like more Radiants than Amazing Rares, because the Amazing cards were beautiful. Maybe it was like, I don't know, wasn't worth printing them with that type of like texture. What? <laughs> I didn't move it back in, y'all. Double Radiant Alakazam. Okay. Silver Tempest. I mean, we've opened a lot of you and you've trolled me a lot. That's uh, that's definitely an interesting troll. Look at the odds of that, y'all. What are the, my luck is so weird. Like I have really random luck. All right, final uh, set of the Sword and Shield era before we start doing these Scarlet Violet era packs. And it's all the Scarlet Violet era packs up to now. Um, so it's really cool, just unique item. A good way for him to unload some single packs. So rude. Never pulled this until after the master set. That's a rude. It's a regular hollow, but I just couldn't pull it to save my life. All right. Let's see if we can get these hits back here real quick. We got Fusion Strike, two for Evolving Skies, the double Radiant Alakazam, but we'll put the winner up front so far. Astro Radiance with a gold Temple of Sinnoh. Hard to beat. Let's see if Crown Zenith, ooh, that pack was just like those thick packs when they were doing that for a little bit. End of Sword and Shield era, beginning Scarlet Vi, this feel nice. All right, looking for hitting the reverse slot here, y'all. Hey, we got the Pooch, a Poochiana Trainer Gallery. Not too bad, fun little card. I love, there's like nine of them that make a big picture, but uh, it does not beat the Gold Temple of Sinnoh. I don't know if the Gold Temple of Sinnoh, by the way, is like the top value uh, out of all the pools, but I hope it is, because it's a dang gold card, I'll, I'll tell you. All right, code cards do not matter in the Scarlet and Violet era. Um, base set, we're hoping for the Altar Miriam. We did pull that. It is a $25 card, y'all, for the top hit in the set. A nice Penny Reverse. Cactus. Hey, a Toxicroak EX Full Art. Still not taking down that temple unless we get something else big. Uh, I keep hitting everything today. Apologies, y'all, if the camera's going. I tend to just hit it and not say anything, like no one will notice, because I'm not good enough at editing to somehow edit magically that out. Uh, but everyone notices, I bet, every time. <laughs> so apologies. We got a Petrisu. Smaller reverse. Klauf. Hey! Okay! And a Maride on full art that I, I feel like I just nailed the corner of that. Maybe not. All right. Well, I don't know. Two full arts versus one gold. That might be close. Uh, that might be close. I know Maride on is probably a decent value. But either way, it's not going to matter because we're in Paldea Evolved, y'all. We have opened hundreds and hundreds of this set. Packs, that is. And we have never pulled the Iono until today. It is going to happen today, I believe. Tandem Mouse Reverse. Oh, okay. That is second pack, just to build up a little more suspense. Iono SIR. It is a beautiful card. My wife and I both have it now. Um, she collects it because it has a little Pikachu, like a Stuffy or something in it. So she counts it as a Pikachu card. I saw Pikachu. I saw Iono. It's, uh, it's coming, y'all. Therapeutic. Oof. That's actually what Paldea does a lot to me. Just nothing, absolutely nothing. It's crazy that both the base hit pack, uh, both base set packs hit. All right, going into Obsidian Flames. Ooh, got that Dragonite um, pack art sitting in the back. One of my favorite, if not my favorite Pokemon. Nice camera up, Toxtricity Reverse. Ooh, okay. Not what we're looking for, not what we're looking for. Come on, get us that Charizard SIR. I graded one, I got it down there. Why is my finger not working? Um, I got it down there. It just came back at nine from PSA, unfortunately, um, because I did pull two at least. So I kept one, graded one. I think it's a beautiful card. And nothing from Obsidian Flames either. Oh, 
I want to open up 151 last, but I, I, we've been going in order the whole time. We got to do it. I love opening 151. I do have the master of all the Scarlet Violet air sets, except for Paradox. So I guess that is a fun one to end on and hope to get one of the 10 to 12 cards or so we're missing um, because it is a beautiful set. Almost as good as 151, but you can't beat it. Magnemite Reverse. <laughs> okay. And that is why. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny Phantom. I'm telling y'all, go check him out. He'll send you single packs with SIRs in it. Why not? Zapdos EX SIR. I feel like, okay, let's just get all these out the way because we know what took the lead. We knew. We knew it was going to happen, y'all. We knew it was going to happen. Beautiful Zapdos EX secret illustration art. The beauty of a card. I pulled it a couple times now. There's only two cards because I've opened a ton of 151. Ooh, a nice hollow fire. Why not? Uh, and there's only two cards I have yet to pull myself. That is the Blastoise Full Art and the SIR Charizard. Can't make it up, y'all. Can't make it up. Maybe we'll get a God Pack right here. No, no God Pack. That's okay. That's okay. Nothing else for 151. We got the Zapdos EX SIR and a Fire Energy. Because why not? You know, have some fun with that Fire Pool. Ooh, 151 saving today. We did get a gold card though. We, you know, got some full arts. We got some pretty good hits today. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see if we can get a hit that we can add to a master set right here. Wind pod reverse. Ooh, not that, not that pack, not that pack. Come on, Armor Rouge. Give us something. I mean, if we get the Roaring Moon SIR, it will beat 151. So it still has a chance to win the battle. Uh, obviously, if not the Roaring Moon, maybe the Iron Valley SIR 2 might beat it. I'm not sure price-wise. Um, but we'll take we'll take a hit. Any hit. Vanellish Reverse, Garbodor, and a Thievel. Stole our hits, y'all. But that's okay. We got that Zapdos SIR. We got two full arts from Sword and Shield Base, a gold from Astral. We got a whole bunch of fun, like V, VMAX. Radiant, Trainer Gallery, Full Art, Gold, SIR. We got everything, y'all. And uh, yeah, I got to show some more love to Danny Phantom. Great channel, great investment tips. Um, if you're into that sort of thing and just tracking prices of cards while still being interested in the TCG and collecting for himself a little bit. Uh, so go check him out, y'all. Go check out his store. If you like today's video, please leave a like, a comment down below. Uh, what was your favorite card? Was it the Zapdos? Maybe it was the Gold Temple. Uh, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.